Let's get right to it. Ohio, of course, continues to feel the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. Now, the state finds itself with a harsh economic reality, too. Today, the governor announced cuts to the state's revenue, and this is something that affects all of us, from education to Medicaid and more in between. Well, the COVID-19 uh, epidemic has had a profound impact on the American economy. And Ohio is no different. Today, Governor Mike DeWine announced the state is cutting $775 million from the budget over the next two fiscal months. The cuts include $300 million from K-12 school basic aid, $110 million from higher education, $55 million from other education items, $210 million from Medicaid, and $100 million from other agencies. The governor says before the pandemic, at the end of February, the state revenue was ahead of estimates by $200 million. But a dramatic change in just two months, we are now below budget estimates by almost $800 million. And so if we do not make these cuts now, over the next two months, the cuts we will have to make next year would have to be more dramatic. Now, with regard to our state agencies, each of our agencies, with the exception of the Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections, is taking cuts, including the governor's office. The governor says, as of this point, the state will not tap into its $2.7 billion rainy day fund, going on to say we may need that for next year. Is not a passing spring shower. Uh, it could be, we don't really know, but could be a long, cold, lingering storm. Uh, and we should not use that rainy day funding until we have to. Harsh reality of this. Now, state agencies will continue with the hiring freeze and travel freeze as well as, uh, well as freezes to promotions and salary increases.